Hello everybody, welcome to Rider Guider, right here on the tubes. A couple of years ago I did a review on the Quadlock Vibration Dampener and the original wireless charging head, which to be fair, I gave it a bit of a hard time. Subsequently though, all the issues I had with that product have got sorted out on the Mac 2 version, so I followed up with a more favourable review, and fair play to Quadlock on that. During that first video, I showed how I'd repurposed quadlock products, being the adhesive wall mount and the universal adapter, to create a unique way to mount my action camera to my helmet. That is my Sony FDRX 3000 camera. I've also utilised the quadlock adhesive mount and the adapter plate on the side of my helmet. This is how I mount my camera to my helmet. And that's it. Solid as. Something which I felt back then that maybe Quadlock's research and development team could consider looking into going forward. However, at the time, their product range was pretty much with phones and tablets, etc. Not so much with action camera accessories. Since then, their range of products has increased by some margin. A reasonably recent addition is their superb foldable tripod, which, if you're that way inclined, also works very well as a selfie stick. But in its standard form, it only accepts a Quadlock cased equipped phone so which that then leads us to what we're going to look at now some very recent additions to the range which are going to make it extremely useful for the growing number of people who like me make content by filming their exploits to be shared on social medias first up this action camera to quad lock adapter here we can see Alongside her quad lock cased iPhone 15, we have Mrs. Rider Guider's Insta 361 RS. When we combine it with quad lock's dual pivot arm, you can see how you can mount it in the same way we mount our phones, and then we're able to easily adjust to the desired filming angle. Quite often, some of the best inventions are the simplest, and this is a great example of that. Now, of course, having this adapter opens up quite a few other possibilities for mounting an action camera. Clipping your mobile to a quad lock belt clip on your waist belt is a little bit granddad in my opinion, but this clip doesn't necessarily need to be clipped to a belt. Of course, it can be used like this on a rucksack with the action camera adapter, which would also, of course, offer up another viewing angle if you're out on two wheels as well. And how's this for a crazy look? Also using the belt clip, if Mrs. Ridergaard is not around to assist me with her brilliant filmography skills, with a sturdy baseball cap like my Rider Guider one, I can clip it to the peak and use it for filming how-to videos. It's a little bit heavy, but actually very workable. Here's an example of me showing how compactly the quadlock tripod selfie stick folds away, filmed whilst the camera is fixed to the peak of my cap. Now, alongside the action camera to quad lock adapter, they've also come up with a straightforward action camera adapter, offering up a more permanent attachment compared to their quick release head. Now, it mounts directly to the quad lock 360 dual pivot system, which I've got here connected to the new quad lock suction base. I have to say, we spend a lot of our hard earned cash on action cameras, and relying on suction to not let go does make one a little bit nervous if we're hanging our recording equipment out in the wind or over water. This does appear to have a hell of a lot of strength, but Quadlock is suggesting to not use on a motorbike or a quad bike. I think it's tetherable though, so it's something we could look at moving forward. This I think I'll be testing over the next few months and I'll follow up with a proper little review to see how it performs under a bit of stress. It's certainly cool for filming shots from or within a car and no doubt watercraft as well. So that's it for this one. Please comment, like, subscribe, etc. And as mentioned earlier, you can support the channel from anywhere in the world, actually, through Buy Me A Coffee, link in description. And if you're in Australia, you can also hit me up for a top quality Rider Guider baseball cap. Sadly, I'm unable to send these overseas from here because postage costs are ridiculous. So again, if you're down under, drop me an email at theriderguider at gmail.com and we'll sort you out. Legends all. Thanks for watching. I'm Neil. See you on the next one.